Hi FlossTube, this is Stephanie with Kate's Crafts. Welcome back to my FlossTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, this is my YouTube channel about cross stitch and crafting. Uh, today it's all cross stitch, so uh, welcome. And for those of you who are back, glad to have you. So another month has gone by. <laughs> it's gonna be March tomorrow, filming this on the last day of February, 2021. And it's been a month since my last video, like I said. Um, and February, I know it's a short month, but wow. Wow. What a month. <laughs> um, so had a lot of stitching time this month, which was fantastic. Uh, a lot of other stuff going on, but uh, a lot of plans for March. The last week or so, I feel like I kind of stalled a little bit on my stitching. and was just really focusing on plans going forward and I'm very excited to share those for you uh, with you. Um, I am a bit nervous about today's video because I'll be honest uh, a lot of people are posting their March plans and it's a big month for plans and there are hour and a half videos and they make weekly videos. <laughs> I have a whole month to update you on plus plans so I will do my best to keep this as short as possible. No guarantees. I will try not to ramble and go too fast, and I'm going to work on saying the word out. We'll see. So, space update. So, I'm in a new spot. There's just walls behind me here. Uh, this is my new craft room, and this is what will be my stitchy spot. So far, I'm working on installing new shelves. I have IKEA boxes all around me. It's a disaster, which is why you're just seeing my little corner. But this is the corner where my stitchy chair will be and my stitchy chair is just going to be the glider and ottoman that were gifted to us um, I guess passed on to us I should say from another friend uh, when they were done with having kids and we were just starting kids uh, they gave us their glider which was a very um, uh, you probably all know how expensive gliders are and that was a fantastic pass on uh, and we were glad to have it and unfortunately my little dudes don't uh, snuggle the way they used to so there is no more gliders right now but it's a great chair and I think it'll be great for stitching so right now I'm sitting on the ottoman of that chair and it is one of those like rocking ottomans I try not to move get you all seasick but I am a little lower to the ground as well so hopefully this all works out logistically uh painted the walls Sherwin Williams knitting needles thought that was appropriate for a craft room but I love the color gray and um hopefully this will work well I do have windows right here, so I have a little bit of light coming in, and uh, like I said, I look forward to turning this into my new space and have this decorated and whatnot, and maybe stitch with me at some point. We will see. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, let's start with new starts. So I had a new start uh, this month and a new start today, this morning, because a couple of us got together and did some stitching. So this thing that I, I did earlier in the month is Ink Circles Henna Mandala, which I think is really, really pretty. And this is stitched with uh, Gloriana silk color, but I am stitching it with a silky thread. So let me, I, I want to say, I should keep it back. Um, yeah, there it is. It is called apple cider or caramel, no, sorry, caramel apple. Caramel apple. It is color 4010, and this is the 12 weight blendables. So it's got some of the, it's not the same browns as the Gloriana and oranges, but it's got that rust and a little bit more of the olive green. And I thought it looked fairly similar. I am stitching this on a 20 count piece of oat Ada, 20 count Ada from Brandy at Bestitch Me uh, that I got from her. And this is my start. I think you guys can see the variegation in there. I think it's coming out great. Uh, very excited to stitch on this. It's pretty true to color there. This oat is pretty light, just slight modeling. I think it's going to look great. So this is exciting. First time using Sulky. So I'm doing one strand 
over 20 count. And normally I am a two strands of DMC over 20 count. And I'm doing one. It's not quite the thickness of two DMCs, but it's not as sparse as one. I want to say it's probably like a one and a half situation. Um, but I'm not finding any issues with my X's. They're kind of nice and plump and uh, I don't know. I think they look good. They look clean. It's not getting too bulky. So, uh, and it's kind of nice because I can just do one thread and go. And I think between Ink Circles, Valentina, and this will be my kind of on the go stitching. So that is that. And then the other one, I mentioned this in my last plans video, but March is my birthday month. And I wanted to do something different that people hadn't done. And so I came up with monochromatic March. And a couple of us got together this morning on a stitchy zoom because Monday, March 1st isn't a really good day for a stitchy zoom because most of us all work and whatnot. Um, so we got together today because, hey, it's March 1st somewhere. It's already March 1st in other parts of the world. So hashtag monochromatic March Sal. Now feel free to use it and you can even use it past March if you want. I will continue to do so. Uh, and if you are doing a piece like Hannah Mandela, where you're using one thread, even if it's a blendable, it counts. Okay, I'm going to count it. You kind of got the singular theme, right? Or monochromatic-ish, right? Uh, some people are doing like two tones of purple on a piece. That would work, right? It's monochromatic still, even though there's more than one color officially. So, hashtag monochromatic march sal. Sal, S-A-L for stitch along if you're new. Uh, I know we have a lot of acronyms in the cross stitch world, so if there's something that you doesn't make sense or you don't know what it stands for, leave a comment and I can comment on what it means. The so my piece for monochromatic march and it's a birthday piece. I'm starting it this year and it will take probably, if not a year, maybe more. It's definitely a challenge. Uh, I mentioned it last time. It's called Save the Stitches. My cover sheet here. So it's Blackwork Journey by Liz Allman. This is the first uh, like couple page. So you can see how big the piece is going to be, and it's done in little blocks. So it's got 24 blocks to it, I believe, and it's going to take me a while. Now they did the whole thing and originally charted it in DMC just black, and then it was some metallics and beads. I am converting it to sulky, and I am using the sulky colorway uh, 712 1812, which is dark purple, dark purple. And then I am pulling in some monica or the metallics from DMC. So I have a, a silver, a light gold, and then um, I believe, I don't believe it's copper. I want to say it might just be gold, yellow gold. So it's E168, E677, and E436. And then I also got some Mill Hill beads that I'm going to use in there. And I did not get all the called for beads. I got the called for gold beads. So I have the gold. Sorry about the glare. And then I got these, I, think, I believe they're just called glass, iridescent glass beads. They kind of mimic, they're not really a silver or champagne glass, I think is what it's called. And then I got these other ones. These are 03053. And they're a purple, like peacock blue, metallic, like multicolor. So those will be kind of in there. I'm going to do all the beading at the end though. So that'll be next year by the time we get to beading. But as I said, uh, we, some of us started it today and uh, our monochromatic pieces. And this is how far I got. So I got the block one, which is just the purple and the copper or no gold, sorry. And then I started into the block two down here, you can see. 
And the way this is, is that the outside border is full crosses with one strand of elk weight, sulky. And then the black work is actually done with one strand of 30 count, 30 weight, sorry, 30 weight. So, and I'm stitching this on a 36 count, I believe. Yeah, 36 count antique white Edinburgh linen from one to stitch. And it says antique white, but it's pretty white. So never stitch on 36 count linen. So that's interesting. Black work over two on even weave versus Ada is definitely different for me. And adding the metallics and beads is also new for me. So this is definitely a stretch piece and that's okay. It's okay, right? Uh, so my goal is to just kind of try and chip away at it a block at a time. I am probably gonna take some time and just stitch the frame. Not the whole thing, but like a block of it. And then that way I can just go back in and fill in the black work. The black work also, um, doing the stitches around it actually gives you a nice way to anchor your, your black work too. So excited for this, but please join us. Hashtag monochromatic march south. And if you do post, tag me, Cade's Crafts on Instagram. Tag me. I'd love to see what you're doing. But I will also follow along with the hashtag. So those were my new starts since our last video. Moving into whips. So I actually worked on, well, those two new starts. And then I had four other whips that I touched this month. First one is Ink Circles Valentina. And I started this during 12 days of stitching, which uh, by December, Flossmas, day four or five, I think. Five. Uh, and I'm stitching this on a no name purple from Brandy at Be Stitch Me from Friday Night Fight Night. It is a 22 count heart hanger, and I am stitching it with one strand of Brandy Friday Night Fight Night hand dyed purple floss. So it's purple on purple. It's slightly variegated, but I'm actually going to that upside down. Sorry. I think it doesn't really matter. But uh, since the last time you saw it, I finished this kind of motif here and started to go up. So I'm just over halfway now. So this will be teeny, but it'll be a nice little ornament that I can do. And it's ink circles and it's fun. So that is my travel stitching again, because it's just one color, one strand, easy to go. And it's a cool pattern. All right. Next I have... Tatooine, and I don't have a picture of that one handy. Not easy. Uh, but it is from Country Magic Stitch on Etsy. She has a ton of these uh, fandom type welcome, come visit, you know, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Jurassic Park. There's a bunch. Uh, so I did some work on Tatooine. Welcome to Tatooine. See, when I showed it in my wood parade, none of this orange was filled in. I just had like kind of this darker orange across the top. So I extended up here with some of the cream and I filled in all of this darker orange. Sorry about that. So, got a lot of progress on that. I used this for Stitchopoly in semi stained stitchers this month, as well as my full coverage pieces. So, a lot of progress there. Very, very excited to get that in. And this is stitched on an 18 count Ada that is the easy grid. You can see the lines there uh, from Charting Creations. And I have four of these different patterns from each, from a different fandom. I have Star Wars, I have Harry Potter, I have Lord of the Rings, and I have uh, Game of Thrones and a King's Landing. Uh, my last floss tube, I showed my progress on Hogsmeade, the Harry Potter one, uh, that I worked on a ton in January because that was a Whipco Gold. This one is on my Whipco board, and I've effectively actually already finished a square ahead of time. Um, I'm not sure. I kind of came across this, and I needed something with smaller stitches to count for Stitchopoly, and I just felt like pulling this out. So there you go. Like the positive and my whip go for um, my two whip go pieces for February 
was my Heaven and Earth design, which I'll show a second, and my Harry Potter book covers. So Harry Potter book covers is, I'm doing the unnamed Max Color Max uh, Super Size from Fox and Teacup Designs. She does have an Etsy site, but this pattern is from her direct sell site. Uh, and I am starting at the top and stitching each book. Um, similar to, I believe, Erin, Two Martini Stitchers also doing that. A number of people are doing it that way, but that's, there's no page lines then. It makes the most sense. So, guys, I am out of Brown Town. Well, I'm going to go back into Brown Town, but for right now, I'm out of Brown Town. <laughs> so, when you guys saw it last time, right, I was kind of coming down into this arch. I got through a bunch of the arch and I got purple, <laughs> purple and pink. How exciting, right? It's exciting to move out of Brown Town. So there is, this is the edge of the broom on his broomstick, which is going to put me back in Brown Town. Uh, and it definitely has some confetti in it. And I have a bunch of stuff to fill in here, but I got some color. It's exciting. You know, it just makes you feel like you have a little bit more progress, right? So lots of progress here. Very excited. And um, yeah. I will continue to work on this. Got I did get my 2,000 stitches in on this for the month, which was my WIPCO goal. So that is met. And then this last one is my Heaven and Earth design that you guys have seen. This is a Floral Bird of Paradise by Joe Lynch, and it's charted uh, by Heaven and Earth Design, as I said. Um. This is the normal size one. It's 450 by 450 stitches. So um, I'm stitching it on 18 count. So it will be like 25 inches by 25 inches, I believe. Yeah, it's a big one. And as you guys know, I showed last time, almost all of my work was in 3865. And I am happy to say, look at the leaf. Look at the leaf. I got out of Cream Town and I'm in Green Town now. Now, yes, yeah, there's like 40 shades of green in there. Hold that up there so you can see a little better. But you guys, this edge right here, that edge, I can't even tell you. It's like literally one stitch away from the orange coming up. I'm going to get some color. So now, right below that leaf, I go right back to 3865 again. <laughs> is what it is. So I have to decide if I'm going to start going down or across. I think the way my, the frame that I made out of PVC is, is leaning towards it going across. So we'll see. But guys, I have almost 3,500 stitches in this this month. So I have my whip go goal, 2,000 stitches. This is also, I'm using this for 21 and 21. However, a bit of reality check. 21,000 stitches in one year on one piece sounds almost unattainable and scary. And I, I thought it was big goals, right? But this is 202,000 stitches. If I only do 21,000 stitches a year, it will take me 10 years. Not acceptable. Sorry. I don't want to work on this for 10 years. I know exactly where I want to hang this. Uh, I have no delusions. It will be like tomorrow. But you know you're adulting when you start doing Excel spreadsheets to try and figure out how you can, like, what do I have to stitch a year to make this happen in five years? I felt like I was trying to recalculate paying off my mortgage. Right? So the answer is closer to 35,000, by the way. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. If I can hold up 3,500 stitches a month on top of my other goals, fantastic. But when you hear my March plans, this is not on WIPCO. I do have it on my WIPCO board two or three more times for 2,000 stitches, but I do need to hit at least uh, the 1750 to keep up with my 21 and 21. So this will be a part of plans. But for right now, I'm sorry to sign off the, the, the stand, but I'm going to go right back at it. So I didn't really want to take it all off and get it back on. Sorry. It's the only one. Okay. So those are my whips for February. I feel like I had a ton of progress. Uh, I want to say I'm over 7,000 stitches total with all the pieces I touched, and I'm taking that as a win for me. I'm staying up on my goals, and I'm not getting too hung up on things. 
So let's see how I can carry it into Mark here. Fingers crossed. Okay. That brings me to haul. I did a little bit of shopping. It was not too bad. A little bit of Etsy shopping. Um, sorry, first I have, oh. So one of the things that I bought and that I'm going to be doing is the Roxy Stitch Along with Jean Farish. So Jean Farish Needleworks, um, she's got an Etsy store. She also has a floss tube channel and I will link it below. It's not too late to join in. This the sale starts tomorrow, but she, it's a she's taken a sampler and instead of just reproducing it, she is kind of spicing it up a bit, modernizing it a little bit with the color palette, and then she's adding in specialty stitches rather than doing big blocks of color. Um, it's not full coverage, but it's like I guess whatever the motifs are have some big chunks in it. I would like to learn specialty stitches. I also am not likely to pick up samplers. If you guys follow my channel, I am full cross, like full coverage queen, right? That's what I do. And so I'm going to go on a little field trip here. And if I'm going to try it, might as well learn something with it, right? So I'm going to be starting along with Roxy. I'm nicknaming it Stephanie Stitch as a sampler because <laughs> we love our alliteration, right? She's doing it on 28 count. And because I, you know, love myself to death here, I'm going to be doing it on a 40 count because I've never stitched on 40 count. Why not throw myself in there? Uh, white Newcastle. So I just did a white base linen. Hers is like Victorian sponge cake, I think. It's a little more yellow and tiki, but it'll be fine. I'm going to be using DMC. Her kit is with Cosmo, but she gives the DMC conversion. Honestly, this will probably go up on my stitchy wall somewhere, or if at all. Maybe it'll be a hot mess. I don't know. But at least I'm going to try a sampler. So try something new, right? I, I didn't want to have a ton of starts this year, but this is educational purposes only. And if not, you can all have a really good laugh at watching me try and stitch a sampler. So no pattern keeper. There's no way to track it. <laughs> going to be exciting. Yeah. Okay. So 40 count linen, I got that as a haul. I'm sorry, I know I kind of like blow everything out. Right. Then I got, I told you I got a silky order and you've seen a couple of them. I also got some white and black just to try coverage with those in the 12 weight and I got an off white. And then I got these two green blendables, which are both 12 weight as well. That's focusing okay. So one has got more of like a aqua blue kind of emerald thing going on. And this has got more of like a moss with a little bit of that dark green in it, but it's got a little bit more olive in it. I'm going to be using this in one of my new starts next month. I got both of these to compare colors. Uh, and then I did place an order with Abby Top Notch Stitcher. I got some needle minders. So the first one I got is the Enchanted Tiki Room. Because you know me and Disney. And then I got, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Because you know me and Harry Potter. And then I got this Eiffel Tower stamp because I love all things print. So, perfect. And then she included this little, little perfect heart. So I would highly recommend, they ship super fast, uh, good packaging, no issues with the mail, and they're good quality. They're, I've used one of these already and no, no issues. I would definitely get again. And they're a good size, so, uh, and not too heavy, not clunky. So that's it, top notch, heavy top notch. And then I ordered some fabric, and I apologize, crinkle, I didn't take it out of the bag. I ordered some fabric from Etsy. Crinkle, crinkle. Okay, that's it for the And Mother, Mother Bliss Co. is the uh, Etsy shop. You guys, you saw I made a couple of project bags. annual pass holder fabric. I mean, I'm dying. I'm dying. 
I am going to make a project bag set out of annual pass holder fabric. And then I'm probably going to make another bag that I'll save for like when I go to the parks and I put all my maps in and my plans and my sales spreadsheets. Because yeah, I'm that person. But I seriously, this is so cute. I love it. I had to have it. And then, you know, I couldn't just get one piece of fabric and I didn't want it to. I want free shipping. Let's be real. Uh, so I will. I got these and this may get a little bit blown out with the light here. There we go. It's like a ballet pink. And then these little feathers. And I thought these would either be a good bag together or would be good lining for project bags. So I didn't get much of these. Um, AGF Studios is the fabric on these. But that also shipped fairly fast. She included a little sample of this fabric. But she also sells, which is mini ears, uh, Starbucks, Target shopping carts. Uh, and honestly, uh, it says my favorite things. If it didn't have Chick-fil-A on it, I probably would have gotten that fabric, but not a fan. So, uh -uh. no, thank you. But she has some really cute other Mickey fabrics if you are looking for Disney stuff. So, all right. Lastly. I was asked to provide some feedback on a box, and I know another, uh, a number of other folks have done a video as well. But it's by Stitch.ly, Stitch and they're out of Ireland. So they have these kits. This is the box that comes in, and it ships from Amazon, and I will provide a link down below. But it is a it's a, it's a great kit. It is, I will say it's geared towards more beginners, but the patterns are really cute and they're quick stitches, uh, especially if you have someone that you want to send something almost like a, I'll say like a greeting card, kind of like when you see the patterns, you'll know what I mean. Uh, so when you open the box and actually, you know what, let me insert a picture here of the box. So that's what it looked like opened up. And uh, it comes with this cross stitch guide, step by step instructions. This also has the patterns in it, so I can't show you page by page. But they go through, like, here, look at this, like, where we're going, we don't need roads. With a turtle. It's so cute. The phrases with the stitching is adorable. Um, it goes through what you get. And then for the beginner, beginner, it goes through explaining, like, what everything is. Uh, how to measure out fabric and thread a needle, how to make your X's, like goes through all the details. So it's really great. Um, and the first stitch is this happy little rainbow. And this one is actually almost like a diamond painting in that it's pre-printed on the fabric and then it'll like wash off. And I had my son started with him and this is as far as he got. He's already learning how to part. Um, it was, we really just kind of got started, but so this one, it's actually all on here. And then, like I said, this should wash off after we're done stitching, but he has never done stitching before. And to kind of explain to him the X's and what mommy does and whatnot was fun. And for us to start together was a lot of fun. So if you have a younger stitcher who is looking to get into this or a friend who's looking to try, this is a perfect way to start because you get everything. The needles they give you are a little long and a little big and a little sharp. Like they're not really embroidered or they're more like embroidery needles, not like the tapestry needles, like the blunt ones that we use typically in stitching. But other than that, they give you little snips, the fabric's pre-cut, they give you hoops. Everything you need is in this kit. So it's a fantastic way to start. Uh, all of the, th the floss is pre-bobbinated with the DMC number on it. And you get, I mean, you get a bunch. So, uh, and then on top of the one small hoop, you get two bigger hoops. And like I said, um, maybe one of the other patterns that I liked, like I said, the charts are in here, so I want to show those. Is it's to parents, and it says, "You talking to me?" It's so cute. So if you have Prime. This ships free, which is nice. Most people do have time. Uh, that 
it, and it's not terribly expensive for what you get for how to start it. So I thank the folks at Stitch Lee for asking my opinion. I would recommend it. Um, they also kind of touch on the whole anxiety and stress relief. And I think a lot of us, at least me, I use stitching as my therapy. I won't lie. It keeps me sane. Watching Floss Tube also allows me to kind of detach from reality sometimes and just see what other people are doing in the crafty world. And, and it gives me a mental break from life and adulting and everything that we're all dealing with, right? So I would say, you know, if you have someone who might be thinking about it or just wants to de-stress and do something little that, I mean, it's not a hate, it's not a sampler, it's not huge, right? Um, but it's a, it's a good value and I, I think it's worth checking out. So again, I will link the Amazon link down below. Feel free to check it out and ships free with Prime. So good deal. All right. That is it for haul, I think. Yes. Well, I bought a new pattern, but that'll be in my plan. So we'll, we'll deal with that then. I'm trying to be good. Trying to be good because we all know Needlework Expo, well, we should know, Needlework Expo is starting next weekend. And now us, me, most of you probably as lay people in the just, you know, customers in the stitching world, we're not invited or included. And that's okay as much as it's not okay. It's okay. But it's for the wholesalers who design charts, design fabric or dye fabric, dye thread, floss, silks, etc. To work with the LNSs, the local needle workshops, or the online needle workshops that we all love to purchase from. And I think, you know, it's if you go follow Needlework Expo on Instagram, you can see some of the sneak peeks, and now they're actually doing some of the full reveals. It's amazing. Reach out to your local stitchy shop, and they can pre-order for you. A number of the shops have put out emails or uh, their own Instagram updates of what they're ordering, and they'll help happily help you pre-order. I haven't pre-ordered yet. I kind of want to see more, because I can't buy all the things. I just can't. I need to be smart. So the other thing I am looking forward to is I did buy, after all seeing folks do Forbidden Fiber Companies um, unboxings, I got their Mandalorian cross stitch kit. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. This is the way. This is the way. April cannot be here soon enough. I'm excited. So let's see how that goes. Uh, I think I picked 32, 36, 32 count linen, even weave for that. I'm very excited to see all the treasure trove that comes in that, with the, all the little goodies, the top of the floss and the fabric. All things Mandalorian. You have me at Mandalorian. I am here for all the things, as Michelle says. So, <laughs> so excited. That will be coming, I believe, as ships early April and a March, I think April. So that was a purchase, but not yet here. But I will probably do a separate unboxing video for that because that'll be a whole kit. And that will be, like I said, I need more Mandalorian in my life. I cannot wait a whole nother year for the Tales of Boba Fett. Just, I need season three. I need it here now. Okay, so that moves us into plants. Now, March has a lot of plants. A lot of plants. Okay, so we'll start with Whipgo. Numbers got called a little early. Whipgo is like bingo, right? Whip, work in progress, go. Uh, so we make a board. And Jessie Marie of Jessie Marie Does Stuff, and I will link her video down below explaining Whip Go 2021. Uh, she calls numbers just before the end of the month for the next month. So we just had March numbers called, and then we can make our plans, and we each make our own board. We set our own pieces and our own goals, which is what is awesome. Because if you're not someone who can finish a big project, fine, do 100 stitches. Do a thousand stitches, do a page finish. You totally set your own goals. It's fantastic. So, you know, you're only accountable to yourself. And the goal is to try and get them done in the month they're called. However, you really have the whole year to finish. It's your own thing, your own rules. There, there are no rules. So 
this is what I got called this morning. One is turtle. And I show turtle during my whip parade, but this is stitched on the stiffest piece of 14 count Ada in my life. I had this folded in my project bag and it was so folded I couldn't unfold it. So I ironed it and then I needed to put it in here and I didn't want to fold it again. So I rolled it and now it's like not coming unrolled. I can't win. But this is how far I've gotten. This is slated for a finish. I thought I had like 1500 stitches left on this. I just went and looked on Pattern Keeper and I think it says I have like 4,000 stitches left. I don't see how that's possible. I think I need to go back in there. It might be counting the white space around it. I don't know because I thought there was white stitching, but maybe there's not. I'm not stitching white because I'm stitching it on white. I'm not going to fill it in with white. So, yeah, I'm supposed to finish this. With all the plans I have, unless this is the one that makes it through my March matchup brackets, I doubt that will happen. But I'm going to get as far as I can, and the goal is to finish it this year, and that's okay. I do want to make some progress on this though. So this is how far I am. I don't have the picture handy. Of course. Okay. You know what? I'm going to hold please and I'm going to come back and I'm going to be able to show you the picture. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. It was just a blink of an eye for you though. So hopefully <laughs> this is what turtle is going to look like. You can see I've kind of got the center and the one back flipper and or fin kind of here. And I gotta finish down here and the front flippers and the head. It says I'm about pattern keeper, I think, is saying I'm about a third of the way done. It's probably about right. I just mm -mm, it's probably not gonna be a finish this month. I'm just being realistic. That's okay. So I will work on turtle. The second number that got called is Frogwarts year one. Now, I did not attend Frogwarts uh, retreat by the Black Needle Society last year. I had just found out about cross stitch the month before that. So the boxes were long gone, sold, whatnot. They did allow you to purchase year one pattern this year only as they're exploding in growth. And I am signed up for year two, which is in July. I would love to be done with year one before July. Don't know if that's gonna happen, it is what it is. So I have the year one band sampler right here. This is designed by Katie Landis from the Black Needle Society. She's designed the the sampler um, for the, they're gonna have one for all seven years. I, I went back and forth on, do I stitch it alone? Do I stitch as one big piece? Do I, uh, I'm just gonna stitch them individual. I can't. I want to I want to have that finish. I don't want to wait seven years, eight years, whatever, plus however long it takes me to actually stitch them. So I have it all kitted up with the exception of the fall. I need to get that. And I'm right now slated to stitch this on 36 count linen. It's again in the colorway oat by Brandy at Stitch Me. Um, I did stitch my quirky Quaker on this, my quirky Quaker Fox. And the pattern here should fit across this. And oh, I believe it's like about 11 inches with like the border and stuff. So it's not terribly huge, but my whip go goal is to get a thousand stitches on it. So I am going to put that in my uh, brackets. Uh, you can see when I go to do my March matchups, I hand wrote it in. I got to print a new copy. And that's okay. So. Those are my two whip go goals. So those will have progress made. Uh, they are both on my March matchup bracket. My bird of paradise is my 21 and 21. So I will still work on that. And semi sane stitchers, I am not going to participate in the big challenges. I'm gonna do the focus piece, which is my bird of paradise. And then I am going to do the whip days. And I am focusing on things that are green for St. Patrick's Day. So my Bird of Paradise obviously is green in it. My Peppermint Purple Blackwork Sal from 2020 also is completely in green. Um, so if I can, I will probably try and pull that out and work on it. 
it has done nothing on it, but I have it here. So I may stitch on this. I may not. Just being realistic. Um, and then the one of my other new starts for March Matchups and Stitch Asia also has green in it. It has my silky green. So I will be doing green pieces as part of whip days for semi seam stitches. All right. Now, March Matchups. This is the brainchild of the Steel City Stitchers. And if you don't watch them, you should. I will link them down below. They have a whole video about the uh, March Madness brackets. Most of, uh, well, I should say, I'm in Michigan. We're a Big Ten country. We have Michigan, Michigan State, basketball. March Madness is huge. I was actually born in 1979 when Michigan State won the championship. Our family is a Spartan family. Go green, go white. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry, Michelle. Um, but it, it's always been a thing, right? So I always do bracketology, especially being the nerdy Excel person that I am. Brackets naturally just, they click for me. So Steel City Stitchers is doing their version of brackets. And what they're doing is, I believe the way they're setting it up is mainly, it's eight pieces. They're doing four rips per starts. And with Instagram voting, you work your way through the bracket by mid month, you have a winner, winner. And the idea is that you FFO, like finish and FFO that item by the end of the month. Stephanie works on a lot of uh, full coverage pieces as we've already discussed. So the idea of FFOing my like paid in March is not gonna happen. It's just not. And I don't really wanna start a bunch of smalls and I don't really wanna work on a bunch of Christmas ornaments, which is most of what my smalls are right now. Not that I couldn't, I just got other plans, right? So I am doing, uh, let's see, one, two, three new starts, but they were already planned to be started this year. So I don't feel too guilty, but they're all bigger pieces. So I'm not going to finish them and that's okay. So what I've decided to do is this first eight teams is a hundred stitches each. So I'm gonna stitch 100 stitches and then 100 stitches and then I'm gonna post an Instagram poll. And I'm gonna have all you guys come and vote and tell me which one should move on. And I'll do the same thing. Now, this could happen. I could stitch both in a day. I can stitch 200 stitches a day. That's not a problem, depending on family life and whatnot. But I could get this in a day. It could be two days, three days. I've got time to get through the month. The goal here is the first round uh, is 100 stitches. The second round is 200. The third round is 400 and the last winner is 800. So each of these columns is 800 stitches, meaning that just from this, I will have 3,200 stitches at the end of the month complete. All of these are going to be tracked in Pattern Keeper with the exception of one. So I feel fairly confident counting stitches. It's not going to be hard or cumbersome. So I understand that not a lot of people are doing it this way and that's okay. Uh, but this is what works for me. So I thought I'd show you very quickly uh, the pieces that you haven't seen that are in my brackets so you can know what to expect. Uh, and then I'll go into more detail on them. I'm probably going to have to do weekly updates in March. I really, you know, I'd like to be more regular with videos. So let's see how this goes. I am going to try to do weekly videos in March. Okay. So you've seen Save the Stitches, right? You've seen Hena Mandala. You've seen Turtle, you have seen My Bird of Paradise, and you've seen Frog Wars. So you've seen five of my eight. The uh, One of the other ones is another Hade. It is called Mini White Magnolia, and I will show you the mock-up of that here. There we go. Sorry about the glare. And I have not touched this one since my whip parade. So it doesn't look any different. We have page one complete going into page two and page, I want to say five. I think it's only 12 pages. It's a mini from Hade. So uh, this is 25 count. We've got a two over one tenth stitch. So 
and I am counting a 10 stitch as a stitch. Okay, I'm not doing, this is me, my goals. That's a stitch, but no, right? So I have that in one of my, currently have that in my, one of my, this is the Black Friday Love You More Studio book sleeve. Uh, this is the larger size, full size. So that is one. The next one is Hawaiian Sampler, which is a new start. Also by Ink Circle. And these last two are actually part of Stitch Asia. So Stitch Asia, and I am, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a complete blank on Stitch Asia because right now I'm attributing it, it's not Michelle, but Michelle had mentioned, you know what? I'm gonna go look, I'll be right back. Okay, back, sorry, total brain fart. Abby Bella Stitch. I knew it was Abby Bella. Abby, but Abby Bella Stitch is doing hashtag Stitch Asia. And a lot of people are talking about it, and it's fantastic to bring awareness to the fact, the sad fact, that attacks on Asian Americans and Asians in general have gone up, Michelle said, 1900% with the pandemic. Um, it's wrong. It's not okay. Uh, so bringing awareness to that in any way that we can is important. And uh, so hashtag Stitch Asia, and the idea is to stitch on pieces that celebrate Asian heritage, are designed by Asian designers, uh, fabric dyed by Asian and, uh, or floss dyed by Asian uh, craft women and companies. Any way, shape or form you can support and bring awareness to it. Um, it's just another, another way to get a voice out there and I think it's important. And um, I know I've mentioned that I am Native Hawaiian. I am also Chinese uh, heritage. And uh, so I had already planned on starting the Hawaiian Mandala Sampler by Ink Circles. This is what it looks like this month. That is the Hawaiian alphabet. And uh, a few less letters than ours, but hey, that's good. I love these motifs. They're, they're this, uh, type of motif is based on the Hawaiian quilt blocks, which are very, I don't want to say basic, because it's not necessarily basic. Some of them are very intricate, but it's very color blocky. Uh, and the way the Hawaiian quilts are very distinctive. Uh, so if you're a quilter and you're interested or is seeing what Hawaiian quilting is all about, uh, please check that out. But some of these motifs tie back to that, that design, and I love it. Uh, so I had already planned to stitch this. I am going to be stitching this on um, uh, this piece of, of course the lighting is not going to cooperate with me now. There you go. Pretty true. It's slightly modeled from Brandy. This is a 20 count Ada and I'm, there are three greens in the DMC that are called out. This whole thing started in DMC. Uh, but I am going to swap out all the greens and swap in this sulky. So I just have one green, but it's variegated. So see how that goes. I think it'll look great. And it'll allow me to try a little bit. And because basically the three greens are charted to make variegated green. So it should be okay. We shall see. I don't know. I may switch back to this one. This one actually kind of matches the printout better, but when you look at the DMC, the other one kind of matches better. I may play around with it, but that will be one of my starts, and that is on my my matchup bracket. And the other Stitch Asia piece that I got, we're just throwing things everywhere now, is uh, a piece off of Etsy, and it is called or the the Holly's Hobbies UK is the Etsy shop. And it is essentially the Chinese zodiac symbols. So I am going to stitch these. They're 50 by 50, so they're very small. Um, should stitch it real quick. But I am going to do them more of like a banner bell pull style and stitch uh, in my, my husband and my two kids and I are four different and then my mom, my dad, my sister, and I are four different, right? 
or actually my dad and my sister are the same. But I'm gonna stitch them kind of like a bell pull style. And then I want to attach, like finish it off with some red fabric and some cording and maybe like a tassel at the bottom. Uh, so I'm gonna start on those as part of the stitching job. I just, I don't have fabric pulled. I am thinking I'm gonna stitch it on 28 count Monaco and stitch one over one. So it'll be teeny tiny. And uh, and then be able to make just a nice little that either could be an ornament maybe for a Christmas tree or is something that you can hang up very easily. So that is uh, those are my two Stitch Asia projects that I'm going to be starting as part of my bracket. So please follow me on Instagram. Look for me to post polls and help pick which projects your favorite that you think should go on. I'm not saying you should follow along with the uh, whip go ones, but I wouldn't say no, but pick your favorite. I'm interested to see what people think. I'm also new to Instagram stories because I'm a technology challenged. So bear with me, but I'm very excited. So March matchups. Now I am going to have another new start because I'm crazy. So for keeping track, I've got the Chinese Zodiac Hawaiian Sampler. I just started Save the Stitches as part of Monochronic March. I am <laughs> starting Frog Words. And the Roxy Stitch Along Sampler. Let's just throw in one more. Because it's been a hell of a year. <laughs> hell of a year, Sal. Now, a lot of people are going to be doing a Pandemic Sampler, which Michelle Bendy is stitching as long as Erin to Martini Stitcher, and Michelle is actually auctioning off a complete kit, which is fantastic. And it's for a great cause, so go check out her Instagram. I think the auction is still open when you watch this. But I am going to start, I think our, our lives were all changed mid-March last year, right? Everyone. In some way, shape, or form, you were affected. As you know, Disney is very near and dear to my heart for many reasons. Um, just the general love of Disney, of course, but it also has other aspects of my life that um, affect what I do for a living and affect uh, my family and such. So I cannot believe Disneyland will have been closed a year. I'm very grateful that Florida has reopened and to see people back in the parks is exciting and I think it gives us all hope. I understand that California is doing things a little bit differently and they are, sorry, just bang the camera. Uh, they are doing things a little bit differently and they are not reopened yet. So March 14th will be marking a year that Disneyland is closed. So my it's been a hell of a year sell is going to tie in with Disneyland and I have this had this piece. I bought it last summer. It is the Disneyland map. Now Hamburg Maniac she's working on this. And I think she said hers is 50 colors. I didn't realize there was a 50 color version. I have the 100 color version. But I will tell you, it is outlined in all of that white. That is full coverage. Now she's stitching it on a blue piece of fabric so it looks like a beautiful sky. Fantastic idea. I didn't do that. I didn't want it to be a huge piece. So I have, well, I have a, this is a, I think this is a half yard, a full half yard. <laughs> it's huge. Of Easy Grid. 25 count Donna Easy Grid, which is like my go-to for my big full coverage now. And this is going to be a two over one tent. But I, okay, you saw my bird of paradise. I cannot live in white land because I think if I start in a corner, I want to say I have one to 2,000 stitches before you would get to color. Not going to happen. So what I'm going to do, because that would be like starting in this corner and working up. So because it's pre-gridded and easy grid, I can count up and then I'm going to start down there at the bottom of the color here and then start working my way in. And you know, there's two kinds of people when you go to Magic Kingdom or Disneyland. Do you go to Adventureland or do you go to Tomorrowland? I should say, I think there's three kinds of people. You have young kids like me, you go straight back to Fantasyland. 
and you're usually during doing early magic, extra morning magic hours. So you're in before everyone else and you have a pre-park opening breakfast and all the fun things we did pre-COVID. And I go to Fantasyland first, but I'm not going to start up there. So I'm going to start over by Mr. Jungle Cruise because that is one of my favorite attractions and the Tiki Room. And I am going to work my way that way. Uh, this piece will take me forever. It will. And it probably won't be a top priority because my hate is going to be my top priority. But in honor of Disneyland being closed and how that's changed everything, uh, like I said, for many reasons, I want to start this piece now. So I'm going to get a start on it. It may be a small start, but that will be started on March 14th. So I did not purposely put that in my brackets. So with everything else I have going on, six new starts, brackets, whip go, semi-sane, 21 and 21. We're going to see what happens. It's going to be a hell of a march. It's going to be fantastic. And I'm also going to reorganize my craft room. So God bless you if you stuck through all this. I hope you want to follow along. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a great month. I'm excited. It's my birthday. It, we have a lot of family birthdays in March, but it's my birthday month. And I get my first needle, Black Needle Society box this month, first subscription box, on the go stitching. Very excited for that. Uh, so we'll have that this month, uh, along with all of these plans. Like I said, I am going to try and come back weekly so that, you know, we can share all of this with you guys. Uh, I... I'm a little bit overwhelmed. It's going to be a big month. It's going to be crazy town. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's just stitching. But it's kind of fun to have something to track and focus on that keeps you a little bit outside of life. So, I'm here for the ride. Another lap around the sun complete. I'll take it for what it is, right? So, I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, please like the video leave a comment down below. I love reading your comments. I am going to get better about responding to them. I do read them all and uh, ask me some questions. I'd love to do some Q&A. If you have any questions that I can answer next week, I will do so. Go look for me on Instagram. I would love to have you follow me if you're not already. Cade's Crafts. And that way uh, you can vote in my polls. And uh, yeah. Wow. I had to pause the video, so I have no idea how long this is going to be. I hope it's under an hour. Fingers crossed. Probably not. I'm going to get this edited and uploaded. And happy March, everyone. Love you guys. Love this community. I love watching everything, whether you have your own channel or not. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of the community. Just, it's a great community. Yeah. It's so great. Anyway, I could, I could get all mushy, but I won't. I'm going to stop. So cheers. Enjoy, uh, you know, what is to come. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We will talk soon and have a great week. Stay healthy, stay safe, wear your mask, get vaccinated, keep stitching. Bye.